virus. Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, the second tutorial on uh, Streamlit. If you want to watch our uh, previous tutorial on uh, Streamlit, click on the above link to watch it. So I have created a separate file Streamlit underscore example 1.5. Uh, this is uh, we have coded in the previous tutorial. Now we are going to see uh, other functionalities of Streamlit. Let's uh, import Streamlit. SST and now we are going to make a slider for example SD dot that is some functionality called a slider in which we can pass a value and simply write the squared value is So this is just a numerical number that we are passing and uh, we are just going to um, get the square uh, number of this x. Let's run this one. Let's run this one. Uh, so as usual we need to use streamlet run and uh, this is my python uh, script name. So. Can pick any number. So. Let's see how to create a progress bar. For this, we need to import time, and then we need to have a variable. So there is a functionality called progress, supported by string like, so which is set to zero, and for percentage so this is another variable complete which will be in the range of 100 and make the system to sleep using the time and the sleep function 0.1 second every time the loop continues we need to update the progress bar the percentage complete will be incremented by one so let's run this one So this is how it works, the progress path. Okay, let's uh, create a line chart. For this we need uh, numpy library as well as uh, pandas spd and we have already created a, a line chart. Now we are going to create a area chart. For this we need a data frame. So we have a variable for that and pd data frame and we have a list of numbers for the first list let's say we have these three numbers and second for the third list one comma three comma five so this is converted to our data frame so for this we need to specify the columns which is uh, let's say we have a b and c so after this, we need an index. So we just set to one. So the index is set to one, two, and three. Let's draw a area chart. Chart data. Let's run this one. This is the area chart that we have created. If you can see, we have the variable and what is the index and what is the value of it. So now we are going to create a bar chart for this we need um, Altair library which can be imported like this Altair as it. and in here we can create a data frame again a data frame and we have uh, a city column city for example Delhi Kolkata and Chennai. 
And we have a city column as well as the sports team and how they are scored, for example. Sports. Sports team and we have values for each and every city, 6, 8 and 9. Now we are going to uh, have this data frame and create a chart. Let's have a variable chart. We are going to use the Altair library which we have just imported. And that is a chart to call chart and we are just going to pass the data frame. There is a lot of functions so we are just going to plot the bar chart. And we are just going to have encoded with the, we have a uh, the x value would be the cities and the y value would be the sports team and we can just set the properties let's say with as 500 and also height as 500 so we have now created the chart we just need to pass the chart inside the Alter chart, which is a functionality uh, in Streamlit, we are just going to pass this chart inside that. You can see it has created a bar chart with the uh, city name and the values. You can also uh, save this particular uh, picture as uh, SVG or PNG. So let's say we have um, a, a series like this which has a year, uh, animal and count so these are the three columns that are available so there are three uh, categories for the animal that you can see there is antelope and velociraptor so let's uh, create a basic chart here basic chart in the engine first so as you can see uh, let's create a basic chart in which we are going to use the culture library again we are going to create a chart but this time we are going to pass the series so which is this data frame and now we are going to create the line chart using alter library so as you can see we can also encode similarly we have x is going to be the year and y is going to be the count and for the color we're going to use the animal column we can also use include legend Going to give a title and then style here. Now uh, we are just going to pass the chart inside Virus. the streamlit alter function. So we can also pass the properties with as 500 and height as 500. So this chart is uh, passed inside the item uh, function of the string width. Let's run this one. So this is the basic chart that we have created. We can also customize this uh, chart. Let's see how to customize this uh, basic chart. So let's make a custom chart with the same data frame. So again, now uh, uh, let's Uh, it is a uh, custom chart and we are going to use Altair library again we need a chart function and we are going to pass the same data frame which is series uh, which is this one and we are going to make it as a line chart so after making the line chart we are going to encode it so as you can see so this remains the same we are just going to pass the year and uh, we are going to pass the count Virus. and now we can color so 
like this. We have a color function of the Alta library and we are going to color based on the animal. So we have two categories of animals. So for each and every category we have a separate uh, color code. And we are going to scale it using Alter scale. So for the color code we are choosing the category. The first category is antelope and the second category is velociraptor. So once we have selected the drawn domain we are just going to view the range what color it should be for for example for the blue antelope it is blue color for the velociraptor uh, we can have red color and for this we will equal to 500 and height equal to 500 now we are going to pass this custom chart inside the alter library of the stream with alter chart we are just going to pass the custom chart so, So now, now let's run this file. So this is our uh, custom chart. As you can see that we haven't color coded uh, for the animals. For this we have color coded uh, with the blue and the red. So far we have uh, created a slide bar and uh, according to the number that we select it's going to give us a uh, square of that particular number and this is a progress bar that we have created using uh, time and we make the system to sleep for 0.1 second and every time the loop continues the progress uh, bar value will be incremented by 1 and we have seen uh, area chart for three values A, B and C. Similarly we have seen uh, Altair chart uh, which is which supports the uh, bar charts for each uh, sports team uh, Chennai, Delhi and Calcutta uh, similarly we have seen uh, Alte chart, uh, basic chart and how to customize different categories of animals 